tofu is a huge part of my life because I grew up eating it. And I never really understood why it has such a bad rep of being bland and boring. Because to me, it's just one big sponge that soaks up all the flavors you cook with it. That's why I want to make today a mapo tofu. It's predominantly known as a Chinese dish, but I'm going to put my own Korean twist on it. Little cubes of tofu are simmered in a spicy sauce and served over rice. Doesn't that sound good? So come on, let's go into the kitchen, grab some tofu, and I'll show you how to make this. I remember someone requesting me to make mapo tofu a while back. I mean, since season one. And I'm sorry it took me so long to make this, but I hope you like this Koreanized version of it. What you're gonna need is firm tofu, ground pork, green bell pepper, onion, red chili pepper, scallions, water, ginger, garlic, Korean red pepper paste, Korean red pepper powder, sugar, vegetable oil, Korean soybean paste, cornstarch, sesame oil, soy sauce, and roasted sesame seeds. I have one tablespoon of minced garlic and then one teaspoon of minced ginger. Next I have an onion and I'm gonna use this whole onion because it's smaller, but if you have a really large onion, then just use about half. Just dice it up pretty small, but it doesn't have to be super fine. Now we're going to continue on with the onions and I'm just going to get some scallions chopped. You can do it on a diagonal if you want. Today I'm just going to go for it like this. For the scallions, some of it's going to go into the sauce right away and then some of it is going to be reserved for the topping at the end. And now for the veggie part, we're just going to use peppers. We're going to use half of a green pepper, just cut into thin strips and then give it a dice. Ooh, something I cut is really spicy. I'm starting to cry. I'm just gonna slice up a chili pepper. This is a Korean long hot pepper, and they sell it at the Korean market. You can just use any red chili that you like. We do want that spice, but we also like the color. I'm keeping the seeds in. And now I'm gonna get some tofu. So you just need one package of firm tofu. I mean, if you wanna use soft or medium firm, that's fine too. I just prefer the firm because I think it doesn't break apart so easily. Usually a package is 14 to 16 ounces, so just use that. But these days I'm finding them to be about 19 ounces, which this was. So all I did was just chop off a little bit of it. But you can use the whole package if you want to. I'm gonna go for roughly about half inch cubes. Now we're gonna make the easy sauce. And if you do a lot of Korean cooking, you'll have these ingredients lying around already. We're gonna start off with two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, just for a little sweetness. One tablespoon of gochujang, and this is a spicy red pepper paste. And if you're not sure what this looks like, then check out our Korean ingredients guide video. We'll leave a link for you down below. And with traditional mapo tofu, or the Korean version, otherwise known as mapa tubu, you would use some sort of a bean paste. And now I don't have that, so I'm using tenjang, or Korean soybean paste. This is fermented. And again, you would have this in your fridge already if you do a lot of Korean cooking. I've also used this for a different recipe. It was for my royal barbecued pork. So check that out. We'll leave a link for you down below. And I guess this is what makes it a little bit unique and different from regular mapo tofu. There's a couple more ingredients that I have near the stove. So let's just head over there. I'm going to heat up my pan with two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I'm just going to add my onions, ginger, and garlic. I'm also gonna add in half of my scallions. Those are onions too. And leave half of them behind so that you can garnish. I'm also gonna saute out some gochugaru. Now gochugaru is Korean red pepper powder, and so it's just dried chilies. And whenever you cook with it, it's a good idea to kind of saute it out to kind of help release the aroma, the flavor. So that was two tablespoons of gochugaru. If you don't like things super spicy, you can reduce it down to a tablespoon. Just gonna saute this out for about two to three minutes or until everything is softened. I just added in eight ounces of pork. So this is ground pork. You're just gonna use your wooden spoon to break it up. 
I'm gonna add just a light sprinkling of salt. I'm just gonna incorporate it with the onions and make sure that it's cooked through. So this will take about another three minutes as well. Once your pork is crumbled up and cooked through, we're gonna add in that pasty sauce. So that was the gochujang, penjang, soy sauce, and sugar. You're like, is it getting spicier? Yes, it is. But you know what? It's not as spicy as you think. And then the rice kind of helps mute everything down. And then gonna add in our peppers, the green pepper and the chili pepper. Man, look at those colors. Doesn't it kind of remind you of chili? I have one and a half cups of water. And all I'm gonna do is bring this up to a boil and then we're gonna slide the tofu pieces in so that they can simmer in this spicy, fiery sauce. The tofu has been simmering away, doing beautifully in this bubbling hot sauce. It's been going for about four to five minutes just so the tofu's cooked. You don't want the sauce to reduce too much. And I'm gonna add in the thickener. I have half a tablespoon of cornstarch mixed in with one tablespoon of water. And this is your slurry. And while it's going at a rolling boil, we're just gonna add in our starch mixture, as well as the last little touch, which is a tablespoon of sesame oil. And you know what's funny? Every time I was making this, I kept forgetting to do this at the end and I got so upset at myself. This makes all the difference. And you can see that already that watery sauce is starting to thicken up and turn a little bit glossy. Now all I'm gonna do is top it with some sesame seeds and some leftover scallions and peppers and serve it over rice. Let's give it a taste. I know that in every single video I say that we're starving, but this time, I like nearly have the shakes, so I'm sorry if our reaction's a little biased. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> it's like nice and hot, um, temperature wise, and then <laughs> spicy wise, it's just, I think it's just perfect. It's not too <laughs> spicy, and um, it's not too mild. I like the crunch. I think that's what? The green peppers? Mm hmm. I'm sorry guys, I don't really have much to say because I'm like so hungry, but this is so good. It's like, as soon as it hits your mouth, you taste a little bit of the spice first, right? And then it creeps in and then you can taste everything else. I forgot to mention, you have to season a little bit with salt and pepper at the end to taste. It definitely makes you feel like you can curl up on that couch during the winter time with this. Mm -hmm. Kind of the same feeling that you would get with like chili or beef stew or something. So it's like Korean comfort food. I think this is perfect. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything with it, you just, just soothe your soul. Uh -huh. Somehow the ingredients that we're used to for Korean cooking, like tenjang and gochujang, get somehow transformed in this dish. And it doesn't taste like what you might think it might taste like. But I love that it's fiery, peppery, but it also has so many different flavors to it. For substitutions, obviously you can use any ground meat that you want. You can use ground beef, ground turkey instead of ground pork. and. You know, if you want to keep it vegetarian, I guess you could. You don't necessarily have to put in the meat. You just put in more tofu or you can try putting some shiitake mushrooms. Mix it up or something. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, remember to tell us by pushing like. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. We're just going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I'm totally enjoying this. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say all of a sudden. <laughs> so, come on, let's go into the kitchen. I'll grab... So, come on, let's grab... <sighs> Dang it, it's so close! I remember someone requesting me to make mapo tofu since a... <sighs> There's a different sauce that... Um, Should I do the whole thing again?